Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks and Gandhi Titan. We're here on Malinovka and I'm in the T-37, Tier 6 American Light Tank. I'm not quite bottom tier, there is a Chaffee on the team, and there's an AMX ELC BIS on the enemy team, so there's Tier 5s on both uh, teams. This is going to be a scouting video. Uh, I spent this game passive scouting, but being very successful at it, and um, some of you may find it interesting. Passive scouting is a bit of a lost art in World of Tanks. You don't see a lot of it. Not many people are playing scout tanks at the moment, and um, those that are, very few of them know how to, um, to use them properly. Now, I'm aiming for a very advanced bush up here, practically on the sea line. Um, which is very effective if you can get into it, get into cover and be hidden before anybody um, turns up to see you. Enemy exposed. If I had got spotted at this stage I had basically no choice but to leave, uh, bail out, pull away um, and then try and pick up a position uh, less advanced because um, it is a prominent bush, it's out in zone and people just snipe the bush even if they thought, if they thought I had gone back into it. So it wouldn't be effective. Um, it's also a very effective bush if you come at it from the other side. And it's actually a much more covered approach. You have a better chance of arriving here undetected. Unless, of course, two people are going for the same um, location. But it is easier to active scout from the northern side than it is from the southern side. Now, I've picked up ten detected ribbons already. That means I have seen ten tanks. And I was the first to spot them. So I've seen three, uh, two thirds of the enemy team already. So I'm giving my team a very clear indicator of where the enemy's deployment is and where the enemy team uh, has gone. The real trick in passive scouting like this is to resist the urge to shoot. I see one of them. If you look at my detected range it's actually reaching out as far as those tanks. Um, but they're not spotting me because they have to, with their view ranges, to overcome my camouflage. The camouflage effect of the bush, the camouflage effect of the um, camouflage net. So that AMX ELC, which has got pretty decent view range, um, it's come pretty close to me, probably within 100 meters, maybe even less, and certainly didn't spot me. Uh, I don't know if he has six cents, he didn't seem to drive as if he had. So. I didn't shoot at him because I thought there's plenty of tanks behind me and they can take care of him. I know it's a pretty fast moving tank but it can't be that hard. As it turns out none of my allies um, either attempted to or were successful in intercepting the uh, AMX ELC and he's heading straight for the artillery. Fortunately for us the artillery successfully uh, destroyed him. It looks like they rammed him. So I resume pointing my gun back towards the enemy um, and to continue spotting for my team. I have 8 damage ribbons picked up already from spotting and I haven't fired a shot at anyone and there's an OI which would be a glorious opportunity for anyone with a clear line of sight on them and the shots are already incoming. Um, so we'll stay here. There's an Ash Sharn um, in a fairly advanced position. They're just to the west of me, uh, the OI is still poking out, so he's available for anyone that wants to take a pot shot at him. There's a T28 prototype uh, south of the um, church or whatever it is. So now we have 11 damaging ribbons picked up, which is quite substantial. Um, considering this is a T8, T8 match, so a lot of those damaging ribbons are quite likely to be from high tier tanks doing a substantial amounts of damage. And we're now at 12, so uh, we're also winning the hill. We have two tanks directly against two. We have a medium that has uh, bypassed the enemy tanks. That side shot in the T-28 prototype was so tempting, but I just felt that I was doing a lot more and a better service to my team by just sitting here and uh, keeping these guys lit up, rather than by attempting to add my own meager alpha damage to, um, to the damage being received by the enemy team. Um, the enemy tanks. Now there's a fatherland after pulling up here beside me in this position and at this point I'm starting to think about vacating the position. 
My main objection was that the T28 is in a position where he could, if he turns the turret, um, get a shot at me. And there's still a tank up there by the, um, or behind the um, windmill on the hill. And he's the tank most likely to spot me if I move, and probably the most likely to get a shot into me as well, an effective shot into me from the rear. And despite the fact that he's got three tanks shooting at him, uh, it'd be just the thing that would happen over the tanks, that he'd fire for the fast moving light tank halfway across the map. Not only will he fire for the fast moving light tank halfway across the map, he'll hit the damn thing. Uh, it just seems to be the way my look is going recently. So I waited until he was gone, I came around and six sensors off almost straight away. Now I think that was probably the artillery, or maybe the tank destroyer. Um, most likely the artillery, because uh, it went off earlier and the tank destroyer only appeared. Spotted, um, and it might very well have been the um, fatherland that actually spotted the tank destroyers overhead. So one of them is destroyed, the AT-15 is surviving, he's got a very fast firing, pretty powerful gun and he's presenting the sight to me so I hit a few sight shots in but as soon as I start shooting he turns towards me and ignores the great big Russian heavy tank behind him. Um, yeah I know I have probably better penetration but that's not a bad gun on the fatherland. So we circled around behind him, and um, we keep shot after shot into him. He's down to near enough to a one shot kill, or two shots at most, and we finish him off myself and on this uh, AS3 I think. So there's two remaining enemy tanks, and I'm going to go off and look for them. Um, I've managed to get 20 assisted damage ribbons. Spot 12 tanks that is detected for the first time and uh, do 7 damaging ribbons on my own. Now the enemy medium has turned up uh, west of our own spawn area or north of west of our own spawn area. He has obviously driven down the field, come around and come up this side. Um, the only tank down there really is the tank destroyer at the corner of the lake. So they can play with each other for a while. I'm kind of half expecting the tank destroyer to pop out from pretty much anywhere. Um, there's one remaining enemy tank destroyer and I have no idea currently where it is. So um, that um, medium tank is circling the T-28 prototype. And I'm going to give what assistance I can from across the map. Um, So that's the end of the enemy medium tank and I didn't manage to get any effective fire in there. The game is almost over because we've almost completed the cap and we haven't found the tank destroyer yet. I don't know, he just popped up now, I managed to detect him but that's it. It's too late to do anything about it. So how do we do? Um, 800 damage is not bad because of 7 penetrations. Uh, 3779 assisted damage which is very good so we got a first class mastery out of that and um, we got a scout medal and we came first by experience so i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and i'll catch you again soon